So this is our prototype. Uh, so it's just working off the home page of the app, uh, UK Go app. Um, and basically everything is right here or uh, you can get to from the About You page. Um, so I'm going to start off with kind of our first idea, which was the interactive page. Uh, so the whole idea with that was that you could connect uh, easier with different resources, teachers, experts, advisors, classmates, sort of thing. So this is like the teachers page. You can send direct messages to them, Zoom links, bios. And these would be all your teachers for your uh, classes. Same thing exists for all your advisors. Now something similar does exist on uh, the app, but it's here just consolidating it into the interactive page. Uh, same features there. Uh, counselor as well. So this is something that has been brought up that's been a problem that uh, there isn't a way for direct access with the counselor maybe immediately. And so there's a barrier to connection. So on here you have an individual counselor who you can chat with or somebody from the counseling department who we're hoping is like on call 24 seven, that there's always someone on that you can uh, immediately start a conversation with. Uh, so hopefully that eliminates a barrier to, to getting help. Uh, we have subject experts as well, which is right here. Uh, and so the whole idea for this is like, uh, you know, if you need more information on something, maybe you're doing a project on uh, resources, primary, secondary sources, you can connect with someone from a myriad of subjects. So here, you know, it's a drop down. We have history with different facets of it. And let's say you choose this person, you click on that blue dot, um, kind of see a qualifier uh, for why they would call this man the expert of this topic. And you can send them a direct question right there. Uh, classmates, this was something that we really liked because on here you can chat with an entire class, uh, individual students, uh, or a groups that you're in in that class. Um, and then also you do get a little, you can add information about yourself um, to have kind of a little personal bio that people can, can look at. And I'll show you in a minute how you can, can do that on the app. And then there's coaches. So this was something that was brought up that maybe uh, there isn't um, anything like this right now. Financial management, you know, I mean, something that, uh, not many 18, 19 year olds know, but uh, be nice to have somebody that can coach you and advise you through that time management, the same thing, physical health, uh, or it could be additional topics, but that's kind of what we came up with. I did talk about how you can create a little personal bio. So let's go to the about you page. Uh, you click here on the public bio and right here you can post personal information about yourself. So let's say, you know, I already got my major, my hometown in here, box is checked. Let's say I wanna add a link to my Twitter handle on here, put that in there, check it off. And then it would pop up on my uh, bio. If someone looked on the app, uh, you could do many features on that. So a little easier way of connection too. Um, oh, and the next thing is, I, I'll, I'll say this, we were talking about direct messages. You could send direct messages to people. This is kind of a, a last minute addition. But the idea that um, a place to send and receive messages, something that you'd see on like a, a um, Instagram, Facebook, where you have a you know, DM page, and this is that blue dots for what's unread. But um, yeah, so that's just a, a place where you can receive your messages. Uh, so then there's something similar on the app for interest survey. Uh, when you get the app, you have to fill out a few things, you know, what might you be interested in, but it's pretty, uh, pretty basic, I should say. And so here there's lots of topics and we were hoping you go through, check a lot more topics, get a little more specific so that like, let's say I check Tai Chi, if you have an exercise class, you go to that and fill out this page right here and you can sign up. It tells you how many spots remain, or you can go here and find out a little more information, a description, and also who signed up, find a little information about them. Um, but 
we were advised that, you know, not all students uh, like going to events that were put on by a university. So what if students had the ability to create their own event? Okay, so put that together. Uh, and so you come in here, put down the name of the event, date and time description. It would have to be checked by the university. I mean, they're not just gonna allow any and everything to go on, um, but I do like this idea a lot. Uh, and so you can submit it for review and then you can check uh, messages for a response as to if it's given an okay or not. Um, and so students can put together their own events, uh, not university related exactly. So uh, that is our prototype. You know, it's not, it's probably a couple different ideas, but I wouldn't say it's like two or three separate different prototypes. It's kind of a holistic uh, look at the app and how we can create better connection between faculty students um, and I don't know, just ease of ease of procedure that, you know, we have a lot of information that's on this one app so that you don't have to go get BBN involved or use Canvas to talk to people uh, or go to your email. It's kind of right on here. And so it's centralized and it's uh, just a holistic look at at the uh, at the app.